Hi, welcome to Ted's Modeling Technique. We're going to continue with the MSD mag buildup we did earlier and uh, move on with uh, wiring up the ignition on this funny car. Now you can see I've got these uh, two mags that uh, I made previously just kind of sitting in place here and uh, I'm ready to start uh, running those spark plug wires. And the parts we're going to be using for this, more of the uh, ProTech items, We've got their item PTMC5 in uh, various colors of uh, detailing wire. And I'm going to use a different color spark plug uh, cable this time. That's a PTMC1. Um, I'm going to be using a little bit of sheet metal, KNS254. Get the glare off of that, maybe here. And uh, also some other ProTech parts here. Um, the PTMC32, which is the spark plug looms over there on the left. And then for the uh, ignition electronics, uh, we've got a um, MSD ignition box, uh, PTMC36 on the left. And then on the right, uh, PTMC35 is the uh, ignition coil. And uh, this is going to be the MSD items we're going to be uh, putting in. And then also, uh, some uh, slicks decals for the MSD logo also. To make the spark plug boots, we're using ProTec part number PTMC4. Now each spark plug boot is already cut, except uh, for this particular model, we want angled boots. Um, in a normal V8 engine, like in a streetcar, uh, you may have just a straight boot onto the spark plug, in which case you'd probably drill out the hole in the block where the spark plug would be and insert this uh, spark plug um, boot directly in. Now in this case we want to make angled boots and you can do the same thing for a streetcar engine also. Uh, this particular uh, valve cover has dual plugs and uh, the holes are drilled out with a number 56 drill bit and now that'll accept the uh, outside diameter of these uh, boots and what we want to do, let me zoom in here to make our boot these boots are actually six millimeters long I don't necessarily like to deal with millimeters but sometimes you know dealing with something so small it's a little more accurate and what we want to do is we want to make one side of this boot longer than the other because the, in real life the boot um, on the spark plug is going to be deeper because they're recessed plugs. And then the portion that you see on top of the valve cover you know, is uh, much shorter. And we want to make these all the same length because they're going to be right next to each other on that uh, valve cover so it's going to be obvious. So um, I've marked out a 6 millimeter length there and uh, you want to go back about one and a half millimeters and uh, that gives you like three quarters to one quarter in length and um, just uh, what, what I've done I kind of get a little assembly line going I, I put that boot right up to this line and then make a 45 right at that one and a half millimeter mark now you can make it a one millimeter you know anywhere uh, or, or eyeball it but you'd really want to be consistent and what you end up with are these two pieces with the 45 cut between them. And you've got the large piece and then the small piece. And then this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Now the larger end is going to be recessed into the uh, valve cover. And the short end is going to be on top. And like I said, since these are right next to each other, you really would like to let, you know, make these the same uh, length. So now, uh, rather than just try to glue these uh, on top of the table, it's going to be pretty difficult, so I've got a uh, little trick we can use. I want to make all my boots in advance and then uh, mount them all into the valve cover without the wire attached because I'm going to mount the head in, I'll be mounting the mag separately and running the wires over to it, then I'll just uh, snip the wire off and glue it inside this boot. Now the boot will just be poked through the holes, I'm not going to glue them actually into the cylinder head or the uh, valve cover yet. So uh, the easiest way to do this, um, get a piece of spark plug wire, put both pieces of your spark plug boot on the wire with the two 45 degree uh, cuts facing each other. 
and uh, move out as close as you can to the end of that wire and uh, use the small end of our boot here and uh, slide the large one over to it so that they uh, make a right angle and then just take a toothpick and then just put a little bit of glue on the outside at that seam so it'll be right there on that seam and then all you have to do once it dries you can actually take that boot and kind of flatten it out and just pull the wire right out and you've got your boot left. This is the drive unit that connects both of these uh, magnetos to the camshaft and uh, this is a view upside down you're looking down into the openings where the mags would go and that shaft over on the left goes down to the camshaft and I believe these are a belt drive a couple of other little views of it here and we're going to make one uh, that's going to look like this if this uh, focuses in and um, you can see I've got some measurements on here five millimeters uh, center to center on the holes and that's about as tight as you can get it because these two uh, magnetos have to fit next to each other um, and then of course I'm using a number 52 drill bit uh, based on the 1 16th rod that we used earlier now I'm showing this to be eight millimeters across uh, yours will vary I'm sure you just want this thing to be as small as possible and um, I can get this in focus here um, this is uh, what mine turned out like Let's see if we can get that uh, there it is and, and then on the engine of course uh, go back over here you can see I've got one mag in place and the, um, uh, the double drive dual mag drive they actually call it is uh, right below that and then you can see the shaft going down to the cam itself and um, the other mag will fit right in that hole next to it. Now here's a mag that's installed got the boots on there the wires are all attached and the uh, wire loom spacers are on there and uh, I recommend uh, building up the tack and um, putting those wire loom spacers on there you know those that you can before you actually mount the magneto I think that's going to make it easier and then something else that's going to make it a little easier double stick tape um, my Dollar Tree special and um, you, you know there's nothing easier than putting a little piece of double stick tape uh, down on the work surface and then putting your um, photo etched item down there and then when you go to uh, cut it it uh, stays in place it's stuck to the double stick tape or double sided tape and um, you know it doesn't go flying off uh, but you're going to lose it anyway but at least not while it's stuck on that uh, tape I downloaded some wiring diagrams from MSD you can see here this is for the dual mag uh, setup and we've got the uh, coil, we've got the points box and uh, this uh, electronic unit is going to be going in the electronics box up at the front of the, uh, uh, the funny car itself and of course the uh, mag and uh, another version of kind of the same thing here um, showing in uh, color same idea of the, uh, of the wire connections some of these things we're not going to bother with the crank trigger for instance uh, I'm not going to take wires to that um, and then what we do have is the coil and the points boxes um, as an assembly here I mounted them on a little piece of aluminum that was the K&S we saw earlier just because it's going to be easier to mount that whole assembly on the car itself and uh, where it's going to go we've got a couple of uh, different uh, things here you can see this photo and uh, this particular funny car has the two units on the side of the frame and that's pretty much how we're going to do it with the uh, coil wires coming down and then uh, another one here uh, we have two variations now this seems like it's a newer setup here uh, these are perpendicular to the frame I've noticed that on the funny cars on the drag races you know currently and uh, then down here at the bottom is uh, maybe an older setup and this is what we're doing right here and the unit itself like I said is mounted on this uh, piece of aluminum and I recommend uh, before you glue all these in, in place 
uh, wire them together and then just swing this coil around for instance or the uh, points box whichever you want and then glue it it's going to be a lot easier and then if we look up here where we're going to put it it's going to be on the frame right here and then of course we've got our, our coil wires coming down here that would connect to it we've got wires going from those point boxes to the electronics box up front we're going to have something going to a kill switch um, up in the uh, cockpit also. wanted to give you a closer view of the coil and points box assembly mounted on that uh, uh, aluminum piece and um, also you can see it's stuck to my double sided tape here and uh, got, the, got it painted, got the little boots on there ready for the coil wire and the wires going out to the um, electronics box up front and uh, change I made um, the electronics box itself the points box that long rectangular thing from Protec already had ribs on it and had little uh, uh, flat areas where the uh, labels would go and whatnot and I happened to uh, be looking on the internet and I saw a picture of a ProMag uh, points box and um, I just made a copy of it, kept reducing it until it uh, fit my application. And uh, so I put that on there. And um, I think that uh, you know, kind of adds a little more realism to it. Um, so it's ready to go. I'm going to mount it on the frame now. I wanted to show you some of the completed shots here. Uh, I've got the coil wires connected and uh, the cables route on the inside of the frame rail into the electronics box. That black tube is just uh, stuck on there temporarily to uh, cover up a pin I had in there. Thanks for joining me.